Well, so good afternoon, everyone who's um, joining in thus far. Uh, this is Pastor Mark Wett Curl, the senior pastor of The Rock Kyle. Uh, I pray that you're having a blessed afternoon uh, thus far. Uh, so I thank you so much for, for joining in today. Uh, do not take for granted that uh, you guys take the opportunity uh, every Tuesday afternoon at noon uh, to spend just a few moments with me. So um, I would ask if you would, please uh, invite your followers in to this brief time that we will spend together uh, here at noon on today. Um, if you have an iPhone, I believe you can uh, invite people by swiping across the top. If you have an Android phone, I believe you can invite your followers uh, across the bottom. Uh, so therefore, make sure that you go ahead and invite your followers in. Say good afternoon to my mother who is uh, streaming in. Mom, thank you so much for, for joining in. Um, I pray that others are getting the opportunity to join in here shortly. Um, I know that it's um, you know the month of December. Everybody's trying to close out the, the year. Everybody's getting ready for um, the wonderful holiday season. Um, you know, So I don't take everyone, everyone's time for granted. So I thank you guys so much. Uh, for being intentional on each Tuesday uh, of joining in with me just for a few moments for me to guess, uh, share my heart on some things that God places on my heart to share with the body of Christ all over the world. I'm so thankful for being able to utilize technology uh, to allow me to be able to connect with people uh, all over the world. You know, So you don't have to be here locally uh, to be able to uh, hear what God is saying uh, through me. Uh, and also uh, to those that are part of the body. Uh, so technology is a wonderful thing. It's a part of our ministry vision that we are willing to use every available technological resource to ensure that people from all walks of life can be exposed to the gospel message. Uh, so I'm so thankful for uh, the ability to utilize technology. So I'll give everyone a few moments uh, to join join in. Um, uh, like I said, if you are streaming in thus far, uh, please invite your followers in uh, to what we're doing. Um, I, I'm hoping and praying that uh, as we move forward that this broadcast uh, every Tuesday will, been to, will begin to grow and expand. Um, and I'm already thinking about doing some broadcasts at some different times on different topics um, just to really, really help people and really keep people encouraged and to try to equip people uh, in their understanding uh, of their faith. Uh, so... Um, in case you guys don't really know how Periscope works, um, you know, on all the other social media platforms, there is uh, a button that you push uh, to be able to uh, like something on uh, every other social media flat platform. On Periscope, there is no like button. The way you like things on Periscope is you just tap the screen um, and the little hearts will flutter on the screen like you see them uh, going right now. Uh, and the more likes that I get uh, or the more taps on the screen that I get or the more little hearts that I get, it increases my profile on Periscope, which makes it uh, easier for people to follow me. Um, you know, so therefore, as, as, I'm, uh, as I am I'm sharing with you uh, on different things and I'm, 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 I'm you know, uh, trying to be a blessing to, to what uh, we're saying on today, if there's things that I'm liking, then go ahead and just tap the screen and, and, and keep those, those hearts going because um, those are, are likes. Uh, so I want to go ahead and get started. Uh, thank you guys so much uh, for joining me on today. Uh, I will not take up very much of your time, but I just want to thank you for joining in uh, to the Tuesday tip on today. Uh, so I just want to talk to you very briefly uh, because this time of year can be very, very challenging. Um, it's a very uh, challenging time of year because uh, we've had a long year. Uh, it's December. Um, we, it's, it's challenging because we've had a, uh, some of us, the year hasn't gone the way we wanted it to go. And uh, then the holidays are, are very difficult for us as well because, um, you know, we miss our loved ones and people that have gone on to be with the Lord. So it can be a very difficult time. So the enemy is really, really, um, he really challenges us on our perspective. Uh, and it's important for us as believers to keep the right perspective. Um, we have to learn to look at everything. And the question is, is, are you looking at the things in your life right now as an obstacle or is it an opportunity? Um, is it an obstacle or is it an opportunity? Um, the way that you respond to that and the way that you respond to what you're seeing will determine whether or not you're successful in moving forward in your walk or if you continue to stay in this little same holding pattern that you may seem to be in in your life. So it's important to understand obstacle, opportunity. 
Um, I preached this past Sunday from the book of Joshua and, and, and Joshua, you guys know the story as Moses and Aaron and Ur were up on the mountaintop fighting. Uh, Joshua was down in the valley, hands on fighting. Um, so Joshua learned how to have a certain perspective about fighting. Uh, but then that same Joshua was one of the 12 spies that went to spy out uh, the promised land and 10 spies came back with a negative report, obstacle, there's giants in the land. Uh, Joshua and Caleb came back with a good report and says, truly, it's a great place. Truly, it's a land flowing with milk and honey. They brought back the grapes to show how great and plentiful the land was. Joshua saw opportunity. Ten people, obstacle, can't do it. Two people, opportunity, we can do it. That same Joshua that had the opportunity to look at things from the perspective of God as an opportunity is the same Joshua that led the second generation of Israelites uh, into the promised land. He gets to the Jordan River. Once again, obstacle. We can't cross this Jordan River. It's at flood stage. There's no way we can pass it. Opportunity. With God, all things are possible. So Joshua, instead of looking at the Jordan River as an obstacle, he saw it as an opportunity because he had been with God and God had been too faithful to him. So therefore, the same Joshua led his, the people through uh, the, the Jordan River. Then he gets uh, on dry land and there's this wonderful city called Jericho that now stands between uh, Joshua uh, and the people of Israel and the promise that God had made them. Now, it's interesting when you read Joshua chapter 6 because it says that Jericho was shut up or Jericho was, was walled in because of the children of Israel, which means that the enemy did not want them getting to where God had predestined them to be. And so they had to be willing to have the right perspective of obstacle, walls in our path, can't go around. We don't know how to get to where God wants us to be. Opportunity. So uh, Joshua and the children of Israel being obedient to the word of the Lord, um, they, they, Joshua was commanded the children of Israel to walk around Jericho uh, for six days. And, and they walked around uh, for six days. And then uh, on the seventh day, uh, God had commanded them to begin to blow the trumpets and, and to begin to, to shout praises uh, unto, unto, the, unto God. And it says that when the people of, of Israel, when the children began to sing praises unto God and they began to shout and play instruments, it says the, the walls of Jericho completely fell down. Uh, completely came down, which is amazing. And, and there's archaeological facts to show that the walls actually came down. It wasn't that they fell down. There's a difference between falling down and going completely down into the ground. Uh, and so the walls were, were, were removed and the children of Israel were able to move forward. So uh, on today, um, uh, it's important for us to understand how to push. Um, it's important for us to understand how to fight. It's important for us to understand how to keep moving forward in spite of the obstacles, because the obstacles that are presented is nothing but an opportunity for God to show you how powerful and mighty he is. At the same time as the children of Israel begin to praise and celebrate, um, the walls fell down. So when I talk about pushing, uh, it means praying or praising until something happens. Uh, so it's an acronym, PUSH, P-U-S-H, PUSH which means you've got to be willing to pray and praise until something happens. I'm pretty sure the children of Israel were doubting because they're like, Joshua, man, we've walked around for six days, six days and nothing's happened. You know, you're not letting us talk. You're not letting us shout. You're not, you're, you know, we're not doing anything. You just have us walking around the city for six days. And then on the seventh day, when they begin to pray and they begin to praise and play instruments and they got their breakthrough. And so you've got to understand in this season uh, of ministry, in this season of life, in this season of being a kingdom citizen, in this season of, of Christianity, God is looking for people who are not afraid to push. Uh, God is looking for people who are not afraid to back down when obstacles come their way. Um, I told my congregation on Sunday that in my 43 years of living, I've encountered two types of people. Um, and so we'll find out today which one of those people that you are out there streaming. There's two types of people. There are people who can fight and there are people who talk about fighting. Big difference between those two. 
The people that talk about fighting will usually get knocked out in the midst of their talking or they'll talk their way into a fight or talk their way out of a fight because they really can't fight. Uh, but people who can actually fight don't do a lot of talking. They just begin to, 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 to engage in doing whatever I got to do to defend myself and protect those that, that I love and protect those around me. And so God is looking for people that know how to fight, but not fighting with our hands, but fighting with, spirit, with, uh, with the, the spiritual battle. Because we know that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but are mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. So therefore, if you want to move past this season that you're in, you got to learn how to push. You can't be passive. You can't sit back and just wait for the glory of the Lord to fall upon you. You've got to be willing to enact your faith. The Bible says that um, you don't want to just be a hearer, but also be a doer of the word. Not just sitting back waiting and believing by faith. Show your faith by your works. So I encourage you uh, on today to spend some time actually pushing. Spend some time actually pushing, just like uh, the doctor tells a mother that is in labor. Although the baby is going to come out, she just needs to do a little bit to try to help to bring that baby into the world. So the doctor begins to tell her to push. So her pushing along with um, the supernatural things that God is doing already now allows her to give birth to something great. God is trying to birth something in you that's great, but you've got to be willing to push. You've got to be willing to fight. You've got to be willing to pray and to praise until something happens. So I dare you on today, in spite of your situation, in spite of your circumstance, in spite of what things may look like, I challenge you to give the Lord a Shabbat praise on today. A Shabbat praise is praising from the pit of your stomach and just shouting out unto the Lord in a celebratory manner because of how good he's been. Don't allow people at secular concerts, don't allow people at sporting events to shout for their favorite team, but we can't give a shout to our Lord and Savior for all that he's done uh, for us. So I thank you so much on today for joining me. Um, after the broadcast is over, you can replay the broadcast if there's some things that you may have missed or if you joined in late. Also, you can still invite your followers out there uh, to join in uh, even after the broadcast is over. So therefore, other people can go in, view the broadcast, and they have the ability to tap the screen and give little hearts and like what I'm saying. Uh, but we really want to make sure that this Tuesday tip um, goes global and people all over the world are being blessed uh, by the words that we're uh, that's going forth every Tuesday at noon. So I thank you so much for joining me today. I pray that you were blessed by our time together. Uh, please be praying for me, be praying for our ministry uh, as we're doing the best we can to try to be obedient to what God has called us to do. But the enemy uh, does not like the fact that I know how to fight. I'm willing to fight. So be praying for me. Um, I'll be praying for you. I understand it's a challenging time in the country that we live in. It's a challenging season of life. But we know, but with God, all things are possible. So thank you so much for joining me on today. I love you so very much. God bless you, and I'll see you next week.